There are two reasons we selected this painting by Jacques-Louis David, who was only 24 when he created the work of art. And it is a story about Naomi and the slaughter of her children by Diana and Apollo. The first reason we selected this painting has to do with the extraordinary use of the human form and its painting by this young artist. And the way that the human body helps to create the composition in the painting. The second reason we selected this work has so much to do with the story and the interaction between the figures themselves. And we will be doing exercises that help you to think about your reaction to th this situation and what comprises the way in which you would talk to each other under these circumstances. Learning objectives. Analyze the composition of the painting and develop a story from the clues in this image. Describe what is going on in the scene. How is the composition created? If you are a doctor in the scene, identify whom you would treat first and why. Select one person in the painting. Explain what that person might be feeling, thinking, and experiencing. Describe how you would speak to a parent after the loss of a child. This is one of the best examples of a work of art that doctors should look at because once you get to know the story and you begin to observe things, you'll see why. It's a, it's a fascinating piece. As we look at it, um, this is a story out of Ovid's Metamorphosis. And as one of those uh, stories, you can see uh, with a great deal of care that in the middle is the central figure of a woman holding up her hand to stop something. And actually it is the Queen Naomi who is trying to protect her last child who is alive and is sheltered under her cloak. If you look below, you'll find uh, in various disarray her 14 children, 13 other children in this case, who have already been shot and you can see through the twisted forms, some of the fig figures over here are holding their wounds, others have their eyes slightly open, but others and are praying, whereas others are completely limp. The two gods up above, Diana and Apollo, are, uh, were sent by their mother, Natona, to take vengeance on Naomi, who had too much pride. So this is that moment when the slaughter is underway and you're seeing it sort of three quarters of the way through. Apollo and Diana painting is also really important. We incorporate it into a class um, where we are discussing a lot about empathy and compassion and um, sort of in, in medicine, at some point in any physician's career, we're going to be talking with and counseling a parent whose child might have died or a child whose parent might have died. And how do we talk with that individual? And that's one of the discussions that we also have around this painting because it sort of illustrates in great detail the loss of this mother and the efforts that she's going through in order to try and save her children. Do you remember uh, from Pierre behind you, the abduction of Europa? One of the things that I think is interesting about these two is that the central figures are both women and both in white dresses. But in the one over there, look at how flowing and beautiful her dress is. And the one over here does not have that same sort of breathy um, movement. Here, white is being used. They're both being used to center your eye, but the white and the women are telling different stories. It's like the Nkisi and the Buddha, Sakyamundi. In looking at works of art, there are these formal components of line, shape, and color that help to organize the painting in a way that um, makes the experience for the viewer more manageable, more, more pleasurable. What happens when you're a doctor is when you walk into your patient's room or into the ER, uh, you need a way in which to focus on uh, the multitude of things that are going on. And learning these skills about how to filter things out and how to look for 
uh, the details of something can be very uh, advantageous for you as a doctor. And so one of the questions ultimately would be, who do you take care of if you were a physician walking into the scene? Who would you take care of immediately to um, try to help them? The guy with the neck wound? The guy with the, we, we, at least his arm is up. That's a good, <laughs> who else? The, the chest wound. The yeah. Yes, he's at least motionless. Most has motion in it. He's trying to stop the bleeding. Who's absolutely gone? The stack of figures right here. Understanding composition is a way to help you as doctors focus on uh, a huge amount of input ideas and information that is coming into you and then filter out to find a uh, a way to bring clarity to your thinking. In viewing the Niobe painting, we wanted the students to be able to sort of reflect on what it might be like f to be a mother who had lost her child, and then to think about then re-step into their role as a physician and think about what words one might want to say to express sympathy to the mother who has just lost her child. And so the students were then sort of able to reflect upon what's a good way to show empathy and what's maybe not a good way to show empathy. And then themselves were instructed to sit down and write maybe a sentence or two of what they would say to a mother who might have lost a child. Um, and then they were to work in a team to assemble these into short poems but it's really an opportunity for the students to reflect because at some point, all physicians are faced with consoling and reflecting upon how do we do that appropriately and how do we do that not appropriately. We're best prepared when we've already gone through the mental exercise of how we might approach a situation, and this is an opportunity for them to do that. As a doctor, you can approach a patient um, uh, who will be very different from who you are. And if you have um, things that you can relate with them, whether that's art they're really excited about or whether they're excited about um, music or some other form outside of what the condition they're experiencing, you can connect with them on a more personal level. The painting by Jacques-Louis David of the death of the children of Naomi is a powerful example to learn about the experience of death, the impact of the loss, and how we, you will need to respond as doctors to, with sympathy, empathy, and compassion.